In our first movie on architectural objects, we looked at creating doors, windows, and staircases. In this video, we'll follow that up with a bunch of options you have as far as adding foliage into a scene. Your plants and trees can be found in the AEC Extended section. Clicking on the Stairs heading at the top of the right-hand column lets access AEC Extended. At the top of the left-hand side, we can now click on Foliage. Max offers a dozen different types of foliage that you can choose from. Let's zoom back in our viewport and we'll create a generic oak. Once we've got it on the screen, let's head over into the Modify column. The first thing you'll want to do is to adjust the height of what you've created. That setting can be found at the very top of the Parameters category. If the tree appears to maybe need a little thinning out, you can adjust the density. Let's take that to 0.5. We'll try 0.2, then we'll set the value back to 1. If you want to do a little trimming of the tree, you can do that with the pruning option. Let's take the value from 0 to 0.3. Let's compare that to a pruning value of 0.6. So the higher the value, the more pruning that Max does. Let's take the pruning back to 0. If for some reason you ever want to change the look or layout of the tree, you can experiment with the seed number. Either changing the value or simply hitting the New button. In the Show category, you can turn on and off various elements of the tree. Anything from its leaves, to its branches, to its trunk. There's also an option called Viewport Canopy Mode which controls just how the tree displays in the viewports when not selected. Now this little option comes in real handy when you're experiencing a little slowdown in your screen redraw speeds. Currently set to when not selected, deselecting the tree will convert it to a lighter weight canopy version of the tree itself. Now don't worry, with any of the viewport canopy modes you might use, the tree will still render correctly when you hit Render Production. Viewport Canopy Mode only deals with how it displays in the viewports. Now let's compare the way things display differently when using the Always Viewport Canopy Mode. This basically says whether the tree is selected or not, I'll keep it in a lightweight version. Never does the exact opposite, keeping the level of detail visible on the screen irrespective of whether the tree is selected or not. And, down at the very bottom, you have a level of detail control. This will determine the exact amount of detail on your tree when it is rendered. Now, you can also control the material color of each part of the tree. To show you that, let's open up the Material Editor by typing M. We can now use the eyedropper just to the left of where you name the material to get the tree's material into the editor for editing. Being constructed as a multi-sub-object material, we can now change the color of the leaves. So don't in any way, shape, or form feel like you're stuck with the colors that the tree originally comes in. Let's go ahead and try a few more. We'll delete the oak, this time creating a generic palm. Here again, you've got pretty much the same controls. Being able to adjust the height, the density, the pruning, and the seed value. Let's take the palm out of play and we'll instead create a weeping willow. And one last one, let's try the Society Garlic. This is a nice little one to throw into a planter or maybe a flower bed. And again, we've got the same controls as we've seen with all the plants and trees. So that ought to give you a slew of different options when wanting to add a few architectural elements into your scenes. Now, there is quite a bit to choose from as we've only looked at a few of the choices. So snoop around, experiment a little, and get to using the ones you need when your next project calls for it.